Hello there, I'm Killerman2, here with The Simpsons Hit and Run, um, a very fun game that I used to play, um, so I thought I'd just do a playthrough of it. This is a very long game, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because the Mortal Kombat Deception is with more than one person. I just want to do a playthrough where I can, by myself, um, record and stuff right by myself. Um, so yeah, the uh, reason why I am also doing this is because it's a really fun game, and if you look at the title, or the article right now, it's a study of 90% video games start with an easy tutorial level, which this level must be, apparently. I have never had a hard tutorial level on the games that I play, but, um, I don't know. I would love to play some of the 10%. So, uh, this is the, uh, tutorial right here. I'm just gonna skip it, because I've beaten this game. Uh, this is the first mission. Basically, uh, very easy. Gets you a little bit, uh, good with the driving. You, you might notice that I'm not the best driver in this game. I just started playing from whenever I haven't played for two years. And if you hear barking, that is my dog. Um, so... Uh, right now going to the Quickie Mart. Um, that coin meter at the top, uh, you can buy cars and costumes with that to uh, just complete the game completely. Um, you can also, uh, what else can you buy? Oh yeah, I think you need them to get a car uh, or to do some missions. But uh, that is basically the only purpose. The other thing is, um, you can't see, but on the bottom, or right now you can't see, on the bottom right hand corner, there is a meter, that is your map, or mini map, and, uh, oh no, you can see it, um, and your hit and run meter. Once it fills up, it says hit and run, and, uh, your screen starts going a little bit different colors, um, which is, uh, where you have to avoid cops, kind of like in Grand Theft Auto 4, if anyone has ever played that, or who's watched this playthrough and has played that. Uh, right now I'm just going, uh, through, uh, getting some Buzz Cola coins. Um, and those things that are hovering in the air, these are bees. Um, and as you know, Homer does not like video cameras if you're a big Simpsons fan like me. Um, wow. Uh, my dogs are loud, and so, yeah, so I got the coins. There is also a, um, cola coin up there. Um, no, this is a playthrough, and I'm not doing walkthroughs on all the missions. Uh, so you might see me just running around at parts, I think in part three. I run around for a few minutes, because I don't want to start a mission and have to, uh, uh, do another part and then keep repeating that process until and I don't want to make videos kind of short except for this one I made uh, I think six or seven minutes can't really tell right now or it would stop voice recording okay so this is the second mission uh, first of all on most of your missions you have to go in and talk to Marge this is a, a mission called SMRT smart as Homer likes to spell it basically that is Lisa's project you have to go give it to her, um, before the principal Skinner, um, gets to the school, so basically you gotta race him. Uh, most, like, I think 40% of your missions are getting from one point to another, 30% are racing people, like I'm doing right now. As you can see, the people usually start before you, which is why you wanna have a fast car. Um, but I don't get a fast car at the beginning of the game, so... Um, what was talking about? Oh yeah, 20%, I think, that makes it 100%, is like, um, you having to go around and collect items, which is in the next mission, I do believe. Um, but, you know, and wherever you see one of those little Coca-Cola glass sheets, that's a shortcut. Very handy in races. Um, but, um, the other cool thing about this game is it has very good comedy in it, um, like you'll see in a second here. 
once I go into the school, it actually looks like the school, like a school would look like. If you can see in the background there, there's Ralph um, behind the no walking sign. Um, basically, Homer is talking right now that he ate the gold bladder. Um, so, oh yeah, I forgot. The other reason I'm doing this playthrough is because the hurricane, uh, Gustav, is coming and it's cutting out my internet. So I'm not able to play any fun games or do anything else, pretty much, as ordinary. So, um, oh yeah, these will be uploaded in three parts at a time. I am doing the first three currently. Um, they will have at least two to three missions in each, or the ending of one mission, um, and the in the beginning of like another or two. Um, but I would try to make it evenly missions, not like one and a half missions. But um, some of the beginning missions are pretty easy. The uh, later missions are kind of hard. And there's this really cool little tip that they provided, which I'm glad they did, which I will try not to use a whole bunch like I did uh, whenever I was four or five. Um, but this came out like in 2001. So, yeah. Basically, if you fail a mission around four to five times, it says, would you like to skip this mission? And you can click yes or no. Uh, that works uh, for every mission, even the tutorial missions, I, I think so. Um, <laughs> I like doing that uh, out of the time. Um, oh, yeah. What else? I'll be doing some side missions, too, as well. Not Maybe not all of them, because I might not be able to find them. But, um... What else is there? Oh, yeah, finding the Buzz Cola cards. If you, I, I find one in the third part. Um, so, yeah, this is the beginning of a pretty funny mission. I, I can't hear any audio right now, so I can't I explain what's going on except by their mouth movements. Um, other than that, uh, what, what else updates are there? Oh yes, Mortal Kombat. I have recently made two new videos, not about the Conquest walkthrough. I'll talk about those in the next playthrough or episode, so please join us next time while we play Simpsons.